Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending where you might be. Well, I finally did it. I finally broke down and checked out ChatGPT. I played around with it for a little bit, you know, certain ideas and whatnots and this and that. Then I had to create a little funny script. So I'm going to read the script to you, you know, kind of help brighten your day, a little smile. You might find it funny. At least I hope so. And then afterwards, I'm going to talk a little bit about my views on ChatGPT and the technology that's, that's behind it. So I'll read that to you right after the intro. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Okay, right before I get into this, let me explain something. This is in script format, like Tom, hey, how you doing, Sally, pretty good, you, that, that kind of format. And then at the top, you know, chat GPT, then the answer. Okay, what I put in there was, write a funny script, use as much humor as possible about a funny conversation between Windows and Linux, chat GPT, sure. Here's a funny script that highlights the difference the differences between Windows and Linux. Scene. A coffee shop. Two computer operating systems, Windows and Linux, are sitting across from each other, drinking coffee and chatting. Windows. So, Linux, I heard you're free. How does that even work? You must be the Robin Hood of operating systems, stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. Linux. Smiling. Oh, Windows. You always know how to make me laugh. But seriously, I'm free because I'm open source. My code is available for anyone to use and modify, which means I can be distributed for free. Windows shocked. Wait, anyone can modify your code? That sounds dangerous. What if someone puts in a virus or something? Linux, laughing. Don't worry, Windows. My community of developers are always watching out for me. We have a whole army of geeks who, who tirelessly review and improve my code, making sure I'm safe and secure. Windows rolling his eyes. Yeah, yeah, I've heard about your Linux fanboys. They're always going on about how great you are. Linux smirking. Hey, they're not fanboys. They're enthusiasts. And I have to admit, I do have a pretty dedicated pretty dedicated fan base. They love my flexibility and customization options. Windows sarcastically. Oh yeah, because everyone loves spending hours fiddling with settings and coding just to get their systems to work. Linux laughing. Come on, Windows. Don't be so lazy. Embrace your inner geek with me. You can customize every aspect of your system down to the kernel itself. Windows shaking his head. No way. I'd rather just stick to my familiar inter interface and apps. Speaking of which, have you ever heard of Microsoft Office? It's kind of a big deal. Linux smirking. Yeah, I've heard of it. But why pay for Microsoft Office when you can use LibreOffice, which is free and open source? Windows skeptical. Free? It must be terrible quality. Linux grinning. Actually, LibreOffice is a fully featured office suite that's compatible with Microsoft Office. It has everything from word processing to spreadsheets to presentations. And did I mention it's free? Windows sighing. Okay, okay, you win this round. But just wait until my next update. Then we'll see who's laughing. Linux smiling. Oh, Windows, you always know how to make me laugh. I look forward to it. In scene. And if you notice the title, I got the idea since I had ChatGPT write this whole thing out for me, which I could have done, but nowhere near as fast and, you know. So I had to write, it, write the title out for me, and I wrote, write a catchy title for a YouTube video about the previous script you wrote, ChatGPT, Operating System Showdown, Hilarious Conversation Between Windows and Linux. Now, here's the skinny, here's my opinion. This is an awesome tool. It has great potential. And with that being said, it has great potential for beneficial aspects that assist writers 
and the like on levels I can't even fathom yet. It also has great potential for, for misuse on levels that I haven't even fathomed yet. I recently read an article about a politician in Australia who someone in the, op, in the opposing party used ChatGPT to smear him and his campaign. And none of this came out until after the campaign was over and it was found out that everything that was said about the, the candidate was not true. Not one word of it was true. What had happened was is the individual used chat GPT, wrote in a few lines, and chat GPT spewed out all the slander. Personally, I think there needs to be some heavy regulations on this uh, soft on this technology because it has a potential of being on the level of like, oh, I don't know, a gun, a nuclear bomb maybe. In the wrong hands, this can influence this can influence entire countries. And that's not a good thing. And that's why I think it needs to be regulated. I think it needs to be regulated worldwide uh, from every country, honestly. And I'm not talking just chat GPT. I'm talking about uh, deep fakes and the, and the voice deep fakes too, especially the, those two areas. But anyways, those are my opinions. That's just me. Uh, tell me what you think. Do you like chat GPT? Do you not like chat BT, GPT? Uh, yeah, just leave your comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and listening. Adios, muchachos.